Do you like toys? Big Bad Toy Store has toys. If you click the link in the description below and give them money, you too can have toys. Now watch my video. Hello and welcome to VR Reviews. Today we'll be reviewing the Polynian Lucio. So yes, here we have another Polynian review, and this one is Lucio, or Rucio, depending upon how you want to go with it, but I'll go with Lucio, because that sounds better. He is one of the swimwear Polynians, and another one of the rare male ones. He's also one of my favorite ones, I think, and he is certainly something worth adding to your Polynian collection if you have one of those. Alright, starting off with a quick size comparison, of course, here we have Lucio. Here's our standard Marvel Legends 6-inch Cosmic Armor Iron Man and 3 and 3 quarter inch Marvel Universe Wolverine. As usual, Polynians are Japanese 112 scale, so they're a bit smaller than American 6-inch scale figures, and of course bigger than 3 and 3 quarter inch figures. Now let's get everything else out of here and just look at Lucio. Moving on to our 360 spin, Lucio is your standard white Polynian body with gray joints. Then he has a light orange sort of vest on, a bit like a life-preserving vest. It's got a little transparent green thing around the neck. He has some dark blue swim trunks on, and he has some sandals with transparent green top bits, and the sandals are removable. All in all, he looks really cool. I have no complaints there. Heads go twice, Lucio's hair is spiky and a red, red-orange kind of color with some dark streaks in it. You do get two different front hair pieces. You get the one with the little spiky thing on top and one that is identical without the spiky thing. Then you get three faces. You get your standard smiling expression, your closed eyes smiling expression, and your open mouth glowing eyes face. All the faces are executed really nicely. I have no complaints there. Articulation-wise, you get your standard Polynian articulation. Engine rotation in the neck. Hinge and rotation in the shoulder, hinge and rotation in the elbow, hinge and rotation in the wrist, hinge and rotation in the chest, hinge and rotation in the hips, hinge and rotation in the knee, and hinge and rotation in the ankles, so you should be able to get them into plenty of cool poses. Accessories-wise, Lucio comes with a few things. He has four sets of hands, two fist hands, two fist hands with the thumbs on the outside, two open palm hands, and two holding hands that have fixed pegs. Then he has some feminization parts. He has an alternate female pelvis, so you can replace that, and that removes his bulge if you do not want that. He has this little piece that you can place on his chest to cover up his flat boobs if he has some of those. And then you get this little tiny green bow thing that you can put in his hair, or that you're meant to be able to put into his hair, but it doesn't actually have any way to stick there, so unless you want to tack it on there somehow, it doesn't have any natural way to stay there. Then he comes with two of these watery submachine gun sort of things. A white boogie board, which he can hold or mount onto his back, and then these big water cannons can attach to it that sort of give him big shoulder-mounted guns. Then you get these weird things that attach to his sandals. I don't really know what they are, and I don't like them, but you can put them on there if you want to. And lastly, you get your standard Polynian foot peg base, which he can stand on, but he does not require it to stand up. Packaging-wise, of course, you get your standard Polynian packaging. Robot Neanthropinae Polynian. Picture of the figure. Die Buddy Productions. If you open up the door, you get some little description stuff on the inside and a window for the figure. And on the back, you get some pictures and poses and some screenshots from the visual novel. As always, these are good for in or out of package display. And that about wraps it up for Lucio. So until next time, goodbye!